Welcome to a journey to the red planet Mars, a world that has captivated humanity for centuries. Beyond its rusty surface and polar ice caps, Mars holds two intriguing celestial companions. These are its two small, irregularly shaped moons, Phobos and Deimos. These aren't grand, spherical bodies like Earth's moon. Instead, they are more akin to cosmic potatoes tumbling through space. Their very existence offers a unique window into the dynamics of our solar system. The names Phobos and Deimos are steeped in ancient Greek mythology. They represent the personifications of fear and terror, respectively. These figures were the sons of Ares, the Greek god of war, who is the mythological equivalent of the Roman god Mars. This naming convention perfectly suits their parent planet. Yet, their physical characteristics are vastly different from Earth's solitary majestic moon. Our moon is a significant world in its own right, a quarter the size of Earth. Mars's moons, by contrast, are minuscule. They are cosmic pebbles compared to Earth's lunar giant. Their presence, however, provides a fascinating glimpse into the Martian system and its complex history. Let's first turn our attention to Phobos, the larger and closer of Mars's two moons. Phobos is a truly remarkable object, orbiting Mars at an incredibly low altitude. It is the closest moon to its parent planet in the entire solar system. Phobos measures approximately 22 kilometers, or about 14 miles, across at its widest point. Its shape is distinctly non-spherical, resembling a lumpy rock. This irregular form is characteristic of many small celestial bodies. The surface of Phobos is heavily cratered, a testament to its long history. It bears the scars of countless impacts that have occurred over billions of years. Each crater tells a story of cosmic collisions. Among these numerous impact features, one stands out prominently. Stickney Crater. This massive impact basin dominates one side of Phobos. It is an astonishing feature, measuring about 9 kilometers or 5.6 miles across. Stickney Crater is so large relative to Phobos's overall size that scientists believe the impact nearly shattered the moon. The force of the collision must have been immense, sending shock waves throughout the entire body. Radial grooves and chains of smaller craters emanate from Stickney, further evidence of this cataclysmic event. Phobos orbits Mars with astonishing speed. It completes a full revolution around the red planet in just over seven hours. This means that from the Martian surface, Phobos would appear to cross the sky multiple times a day. Due to its rapid orbit and close proximity, Phobos exhibits a peculiar motion from the perspective of an observer on Mars. It appears to rise in the west and set in the east. This is a unique phenomenon, unlike any moon seen from Earth. The gravity on Phobos is incredibly weak. An object weighing 150 pounds on Earth would weigh less than two ounces on Phobos. This low gravity has significant implications for any potential future missions. It means that even a small jump could send an astronaut floating away from the surface. Now let's shift our focus to Deimos, Mars's smaller and more distant moon. Deimos presents a stark contrast to its inner sibling, Phobos. It is a quieter, more serene companion to the red planet. Deimos is significantly smaller than Phobos, measuring only about 12 kilometers or 7.5 miles across. Like Phobos, it is irregularly shaped resembling a cosmic potato. Its diminutive size makes it one of the smallest known moons in the solar system. The surface of Deimos is notably smoother than that of Phobos. It has fewer and less pronounced craters. This difference in surface features provides clues about their respective histories and interactions with space debris. Scientists believe that Deimos's smoother appearance is due to a layer of regolith or loose surface material that has partially filled in its craters over time. This regolith may have accumulated more easily on Deimos due to its lower gravity and less violent history of impacts. Deimos orbits Mars in a much more leisurely fashion 
compared to Phobos. It takes approximately 30 hours to complete a single orbit around the red planet. This is only slightly longer than a Martian day, which is about 24.6 Earth hours. From the Martian surface, Deimos would appear to rise in the east and set in the west, much like Earth's moon. However, its small size and greater distance would make it appear as little more than a bright star in the Martian sky. Its slow orbit means it would remain visible for extended periods. The origin of both Phobos and Deimos remains a subject of intense scientific debate. Understanding how these moons came to be is crucial for piecing together the early history of the Martian system. There are two leading theories, each with compelling evidence. The most widely accepted theory suggests that Phobos and Deimos are captured asteroids. According to this hypothesis, these small bodies originated in the asteroid belt, a region between Mars and Jupiter. Over eons, their orbits were perturbed, sending them on a collision course with Mars. As they approached the red planet, they were drawn into Mars's gravitational field. Through a complex interplay of gravitational forces and atmospheric drag, they eventually settled into stable orbits around the planet. This capture process is not uncommon in the solar system. The composition of Phobos and Deimos lends strong support to the captured asteroid theory. Their spectral signatures are similar to those of carbonaceous chondrite asteroids. These are primitive, carbon-rich asteroids that are among the oldest objects in the solar system. Their dark, rocky surfaces are consistent with this type of material. However, an alternative theory has gained traction in recent years. This hypothesis proposes that Phobos and Deimos formed from a debris disk. This disk would have been created by a giant impact on Mars itself. In this scenario, a massive object collided with early Mars, ejecting a vast amount of material into orbit. This ejected debris then coalesced over time, forming the two moons we see today. This process is similar to the leading theory for the formation of Earth's moon. Recent research, particularly concerning the orbital characteristics and composition of the moons, has provided new insights. Some models suggest that a single large impact could have created a ring of debris that then formed multiple moons, with some potentially migrating inwards and outwards over time. The debate continues, driving further research and exploration. Despite their small size, Phobos and Deimos hold significant scientific interest. They are not merely inert rocks, they are cosmic time capsules. Their study offers invaluable insights into the early solar system and the processes that shaped our planetary neighborhood. By analyzing their composition and surface features, scientists can learn more about the conditions present during the solar system's formation. They can also provide clues about the formation of Mars itself, shedding light on its geological and atmospheric evolution. These moons are accessible laboratories for understanding planetary dynamics. Phobos and Deimos offer tantalizing possibilities for future space exploration. Their proximity to Mars and unique orbital characteristics make them prime targets for robotic and even human missions. They could serve as crucial stepping stones for humanity's journey to the Red Planet. Phobos, in particular, is considered an ideal target for future missions. Its close proximity to Mars means that a spacecraft can reach it with relatively little fuel. This makes it an easy target in terms of orbital mechanics. Moreover, Phobos's incredibly low gravity makes it an easy target for landing. A spacecraft would require minimal thrust to touch down gently on its surface. This also means that operations on the surface, such as sample collection or equipment deployment, would be less challenging than on a larger body. Phobos is envisioned as a potential stepping stone for future Martian exploration. It could serve as a forward operating base, a staging point for missions to the Martian surface. From Phobos, rovers or even human crews could be deployed to Mars with greater ease and safety. Scientists are particularly interested in studying Phobos's composition in detail. 
Understanding its precise makeup could help confirm its origin as a captured asteroid or provide evidence for the giant impact theory. Sample return missions would be invaluable for this research. There is also a keen interest in searching for evidence of water ice on Phobos. While its surface is dry, some models suggest that water ice could be present beneath the surface, shielded from solar radiation. If confirmed, this water ice could be a vital resource for future human missions. It could be used for drinking water, breathable oxygen, or even rocket fuel. Phobos could ultimately be used as a base for robotic or human missions to Mars. Its low gravity and proximity make it an excellent location for assembling spacecraft, refueling, or conducting remote operations on the Martian surface. It offers a stable platform away from the challenges of Martian dust storms and radiation. The exploration of Phobos and Deimos promises to unlock further secrets of the Red Planet and the Solar System. These tiny moons, once thought of as mere cosmic debris, are now recognized as invaluable scientific assets. They represent the next frontier in our quest to understand Mars and prepare for humanity's future in space.